Hi there. My name is Don with SwivelChairParts.com. I'm going to show you how to convert an upholstered living room chair into a swivel chair. These are some of the things that you will need. A plywood board, no less than 12 inches wide, and this one is 24 inches long. It can be attached with number 10 screws about one and a half to one and three quarter inches long. Here, alternatively, is a one by four board, which you can use instead of the plywood if you have it. One side here and another one over here. So that the swivel can be bolted down to the two individual one by fours like that. Okay. Here also is the ring which is going to go on the floor. It has permanently installed uh, glides on the bottom. It won't mess up your floor. A little drill, a little screwdriver. This package of screws comes with the uh, ring and swivel that we offer and you'll need either one of these two wrenches. That's all. It doesn't, it's not a big deal. After screwing the board down, you take the swivel and turn it into a star-shaped item. Lean on it a little bit, give it a little twist. I like to attach the ring to the swivel first. It makes it a lot easier. I take one of these carriage bolts and stick it into the squared hole. The holes here are squared on the swivel. And so is the carriage bolt. It's got a square. You put that on. Take one of these special nuts, which do not need a washer. They have their own washer built into it. And they bite right into the uh, metal. And then proceed to do the same for the other three nuts. Okay, now I have attached all four and I'm just giving them the final t checking to make sure that they're tight. They are. I'm going to set this kind of in the middle. This is a 24 inch ring and this chair happens to be 24 inches. So it's going to work out just great. I'm going to put the screws in, hold still, these are our mounting screws which come in the package, where is it here? You do that to, for all four screws. Do that for all four and you'll be done. When you go to test out the chair, you may find that it feels it wants to roll to the back a little bit. If it does that, you'll need to Take off the uh, ring and swivel, move it backwards a little bit, maybe an inch, maybe two if it's a whole lot, but move it backwards, put the screws back into the board, and it should be good. Conversely, you, it may feel like it wants to be tipping forward. If that's the case, again, remove the mechanism and uh, that is the, ri the ring and swivel, move it to the front by an inch or two, and it should work just fine. Thank you very much for watching this video. Good luck. Bye.